the absolute, absolute consensus is that, that human action is leading to an increase in average temperatures. Absolute consensus. It, 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 I can't. I, I know you may try to argue with that, but you can't. No, I'm not my uh, mate, I so, will. so, so, um, so, so, but therefore, um, but the key point is: can we respond to it? Is it? Do we have the political institutions and the political will and the organisation globally to respond to this challenge? And that worries me immensely. I don't think we do at the moment. And I'm absolutely stunned that someone who is inspired by Richard Feynman a fantastic scientist who believes in empirical evidence is quoting consensus. Can I just say, I just, I brought the graph, right? I mean, can I just... <laughs> First of all, that the data has been corrupted, and we know that the 1930s what do you mean were warmer like than today. Yeah. Corrupted, what do you mean corrupted? Been manipulated. And, by and, uh, By NASA? NASA? By the <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, politics should be based on empirical evidence. All policy should be based on empirical evidence. I've heard consensus, which is not science. I've heard appeals to authority, which is not science. I've heard um, various... Please help us. All right, ho hold my sandwich. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Here, you take that. Here, here. You want to... Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. All right, listen, B.O.B., once and for all. The Earth looks flat because, one, you're not far enough away at your size. Two, your, your size isn't large enough relative to Earth to notice any curvature at all. It's a fundamental fact of calculus and non-Euclidean geometry. Small sections of large curved surfaces will always look flat to little creatures that crawl upon it. But this, but this whole thing, it's just a symptom of a larger problem. There's a growing anti-intellectual strain in this country. That many, that it may be the beginning of the end of our informed democracy. <laughs> of course, in a free society, you can and should think whatever you want. And if you want to think the world is flat, go right ahead. But if you think the world is flat and you have influence over others, as would successful rappers or even presidential candidates, then being wrong becomes being harmful to the health, the wealth, and the security of our citizenry. Discovery and exploration got us out of the caves, and each generation benefits from what previous generations have learned. Isaac Newton, my man, said, I have, if I have seen farther than others, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. I get an amen. Woo. So that's right, B.O.B., when you stand on the shoulders of those who came before, you might just see far enough to realize the Earth isn't flat. And by the way, this is called gravity. We have a saying in science, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. So I am now going to make a wild, way out, extraordinary claim. The world is round. See, it looks like a table or a board. Now, once in a while, you might see mountains or hills, but those are just like little bumps on what looks like a flat Earth. Well, here's what happened. People noticed that the place that we seem to be living would every now and then cast a shadow on the moon. And when it did, that shadow was always round. Now, the only shape we know of that always casts a round shadow is a ball. It's our curvature of the Earth horizon model of science. And this blue stuff is like the ocean. And this boat? Well, it's like, like a boat. Anyway, watch as ships sail away. They don't disappear all at once. No, first, the bottom will disappear. See, the bottom of the ship is gone. Now we can see midway up, and then the whole thing disappears. Now, ships came back. They didn't fall off a table. So people realized that the world is curved. I mean, it's a big curve, but it's curved. So, the process of testing claims, the world is flat, the world is round, is what we call science. Now, if you have a claim that can't be tested, that's what we call pseudoscience. The difference between pseudoscience and regular science is whether or not you can test it. The flat Earth, well, that didn't stand up to tests. The round Earth did. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. 
The world is round. I'm out of here.